I'm Drew Hodges. I'm the uh, creative director and the owner of Spot Co. Advertising. We're doing all the theatrical advertising for Lestat. You know, we started with Rent. We went to Chicago. You know, we have a history of creating a look that hopefully becomes a brand. And really, what that's about to me is all the advertising that we make is hopefully an, uh, making an emotional promise that we're no longer making ads that say to people, this is what will happen in the show. This is the plot point in the show. What we're doing is we're making advertising that says, this is how it will feel to go to the show. And if you do that well enough, then the feeling around the advertisement and the feeling of the show match up. The director mentioned to me, spoke to me very passionately about the traps of a vampire musical and how this would not have fangs, this would not have crosses, this would not have steaks, this would not have garlic, this would not have all the things that in fact were expected of vampire musicals. We really want to tell people this is a really rich story that's you know, about love and passion and morality and all around the world and history and all those things rather than about creaky door hinges. The job is to come up with many posters, not one poster, so that we can come back and three or four weeks time and do a presentation to the client and really show them different ways of approaching. I mean obviously some are more successful than others but even within the successes you have different tones, different things, it's almost like a graphic equalizer. There are different things that get brought up or pushed down. This is very similar to what a presentation might look like to a client. As a matter of fact all these comps exist in this form because they were shown to a client. This poster was done with the idea of evergreen, literally, the idea of living forever. Um, and while it's, uh, and, and this sort of sense of dying and rebirth, if you really want to look at it, it's very bright green up here and then it sort of gets into these browns and comes down around again and back up and the letters do the same thing. Thus the line, some legends never die. This is a photograph of our photo producer here. We often use people who work in the office to create the comp. And so we were just looking for a really moody, um, kind of sensual portrait because ultimately I think this is a romantic story and you're selling the romance of this figure. This is sort of looking for more of a classic mark. We probably do less of the classic marks, the cat's eyes, than we used to because I'm always just looking for the most emotional poster I can find and I tend to find those things as mysterious but not always that communicative as to what's going to happen. And so that, that's another attempt at a real crest and um, in the end, I think we decided that people love to see people. And um, if ever I can make it work with a person, I try to. Um, this is actually, I think, a photo of Natalie Portman, which I think is amusing that you know, there, there's an androgyny to the character, there's a beauty to the character. And um, so that was kind of interesting. We would never have used this image. Of course, we would have used our leading man uh, and photographed him to match this. But that was, that was the idea, and a much more gothic but modern gothic title treatment. This Lestat with the tattoo on the back of the neck, Die Young, Live Forever, we got the line from, from Bernie. It was suggested and right away everyone here just said, great. It was really clear what a great line it was. And this is a photograph by Albert Watson, who's a really, really well-known uh, photographer. And it's just a very, very beautiful thing. This is um, an, an Abercrombie and Fitch model who has a beautiful body and a beautiful beautiful long sort of surfer hair and the feeling was that you could really feel the humanism in this person and the sort of branded for life kind of a thing. And this was you know, going to be the poster for a while and then ultimately I think the feeling was that it was perhaps too feminine and I think there was some concern that the, the, the neck piece, uh, we had seen it before, uh, I think Triple X was mentioned. Um, and so you know, I think there was just some concern that maybe it was perhaps too far away from the, the, the core story of this mythical figure. And then this is the final poster. Now this was done by Dave McKean, who is also, who is an amazing, I think you'd call him a graphic novelist, novelist out of England. Uh, he was on board before we came on board. He's doing um, the set designs in collaboration with Derek McLean. He was, Dave was able to really create this really graphic symbol because in the end this shape is really works well when it reduces down small and the cobblestones without being too clear on location and we kept the logo from the one just before um, it's just something about it that we all really like and we find kind of contemporary 
Um, in the end, it's one of the cleanest posters we've ever worked on in the sense that there's no text in here and it's really sort of given a frame to exist. Um, and it's obviously very, very moody. And I think it sort of looks like something new but something very old at the same time. Um, and and um, that's really been the artwork ever since.